Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all good. So today we've got a huge homeware haul. Like I went in for this haul, I went in. My apartment is literally so plain. Like I've never decorated or anything. Like it's just about time that I just jazzed it up a little bit. So a lot of the stuff is from Primark. I've literally got like four big bags of the Primark stuff. Like if you just send me carrying it through the store, honestly, like. Oh. But then I also got some prints from Decenio because I was just like, they would look super lovely. So if you want to see what I got, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start with the prints from Decenio. Okay, guys, so here are the prints from Decenio. They're just on my floor at the minute. I was trying to decide how I kind of wanted them to go. And then tomorrow I'll get my handyman out to actually put them on a wall. <laughs> I wanted to go with like a nature theme, kind of with bits of pink. I got copper frames for all of the prints, which I think looks really really nice and in person it's defo more pink than I thought so that's even better because we love pink so this picture here the palm tree with the pink walls the print itself was £10.46 and the frame was £12.95 then I also got this pink good vibes only quote the print was £5.96 and the frame was £8.95 I like love these types of palm leaves so I had to get one of these this was £5.96 as well and the frame was also £8.95 and then and I got small ones to kind of fill the gaps. I've actually forgot to take the plastic off that one, which is great. So I just got this one that says dream big. It's really simple, minimal. I love dragonflies and I recently got a dragonfly tattoo. So when I saw this, I was like, yep, yeah, gotta get it. And this is really minimal as well. And then here I had to get this one that says Hakuna Matata because Lion King is literally my favorite film ever. And I'm so excited for the new film. I'm literally ready to cry though. Like I'll be in tears. But yeah, so I had to get that one. And then I also got a bumblebee which is in the same style as the dragonfly and i also have a bumblebee tattoo so yeah so i'm gonna get my handyman to put it up like this on the walls and i think it will look real cool but i think this is a nice amount to start off with and then i can defo add more or swap the prints or anything like that so yeah so far so good i do feel like the prints from decenio are really nice and like so are the frames the only thing is i feel like it was quite expensive like i got seven prints in seven frames and that was 80 pounds and i was just like oh like I wanted to get loads more like the prints I've got now they're for my living room but I thought I'd be able to get some for like my hallway my bedroom and the second bedroom but because it was getting so pricey I was like yo like we need to calm down so yeah I did want to get more but I was just like I just can't spend this much money on prints right now like I wasn't planning on it so yeah so I think probably like next month I'll get the prints that I want for the bedrooms and the hallway but, but yeah it was getting real pricey the good thing is is it's really easy to swap the prints out so if I get bored of one or I just want to change up. that's really easy to do like it's not a big deal it's not like if you got a canvas and it's just like oh you're gonna have to buy a whole new canvas you can just swap the prints out so that's really cool i think they gave me like a code to get like five pound off so i'll leave a link down below i am really impressed with them and i do really like the color of the frames but it was just pricier than a girl thought okay now for the stuff from primark which was cheaper than i thought so literally complete opposite to decenio and i got so much stuff so first things first i got some shelves <laughs> so they're actually the these really cute like house shelves hopefully you can see on the picture but they just put like little things in there like an alarm clock a cactus and they just look really cute so you get three different shelves and they're three different sizes so you obviously you've got this big one here and a medium one then the really small one but yeah i'm just gonna put these above my bed in my bedroom and then i'm just gonna put like cute little things in there which i'll show you because i've got them here so yeah i just thought these would be really nice and they would like make the place feel more homely <laughs> like i'm definitely slacking and i need more shelves generally so yeah i thought these would be really cute and these were 12 pound and then to go into one of the shelves i got this alarm clock so this was five pound because I saw it on the picture of the shelves. I was like, okay, that'd be really cute. And I was actually thinking of getting like a proper old fashioned alarm clock instead of just using my phone. So I thought I'd get that as well. And that was really cute. It's in like a proper gold color. And I think they had one as well that was silver, which did look really nice. But yeah, I just thought this would be really cute for the shelf. And yeah, it'll just bring a bit of life to my room. I feel like I tried to go with like quite a gold theme with bits of like green and pink. So yeah, that's the vibe. So next I also 
also got a Buddha who is like so cute. So I think I'm gonna put Buddha in one of the shells and I'm hoping it's gonna fit. I literally love Buddhas, like I just think they're so cute. Me and my family have been to Thailand before and I feel like every time we see a Buddha, we always think back to that holiday and I'm just like, oh, like it was such a nice time. So I just got one of these and I think it's nice as well because this one feels quite big. Usually I see ones that are like a lot smaller, but this one is like literally the size of my head. So yeah. I've also got like a little tiny Buddha in my fish tank as well. They kind of look the same, but the one in my fish tank is white. But yeah, I just thought this would be really cute and it'll help me feel chilled out. And obviously it's gold as well, which seems to be my theme at the minute. So yeah. So I also got a pack of three scented candles. They've got bits of gold and black on them. I'm gonna actually open them up so you can see properly. They all smell like lemongrass and ginger. Like they actually smell real good. These are the different holders. So we've just got a white one with gold leaves on. Got a black one with tigers on. I hope this is actually in focus. Sorry if it's not. And then a black one as well with the gold leaves on. So I just thought these candles would look really cute. And I don't know why, but I don't actually like burning candles in my house because I feel like it always makes my asthma really bad. I know that sounds really silly, but yeah. So yeah, I don't usually burn candles. So these would just for aesthetic reasons. And I thought they would just match the theme I've got going on in my house. And they do smell smell really good like they smell really fresh like I wish you could actually smell it as well instead of me just describing it but yeah they do smell really like fresh and nice so I think I'm gonna put one of these in the house shelves and then who knows where I'll put the others also just to let you know I'm gonna do an apartment tour so once the prints are up and I've put all my lovely homeware haul stuff out then I am gonna film an apartment tour because a couple people have asked for it so yeah okay I'm actually like heartbroken <laughs> I've brought this lovely gold tiger and I've just noticed it's legs broken like what the hell like he's a little bit wonky when I put him down but because it can still stand I'm not gonna kick up a fuss over this tiger it was only two pounds so I'm not gonna bother returning it and it can still stand so that's fine <laughs> Oh my god, it wasn't even two pound, it was five. I'm still not gonna return it, it's really not that deep. I just thought this would look super cute with the other gold stuff I got, and when I saw it, I was like, oh, okay, that's cute. Okay, next I got this little fake orchid. I don't know where I wanna put this, but yeah, I just felt like this was cute, and because it's fake, it's not gonna die or anything, so why not? It was only two pound fifty. So here is the orchid. So yeah, we'll find a place for the orchid. Okay, then I also got this little elephant succulent thing, and I just thought with the orchid as well, it was just really cute. I'll probably put them together somewhere, because I think they look really cute. But I'm probably going to put this in my second bedroom, I'm thinking. I don't know. I need to have a think about where all these things are actually going to go. But yeah, I just thought this would look real cute. So yeah. And then I got another three set of candles. So these ones are pink. They smell really good. These ones smell really fresh. They smell like fresh linen. But again, I've just brought these really for aesthetic reasons. Because they were pink. I was like, okay, that can fit with like my living room. So yeah, I don't plan on using these candles. I just want them to look pretty. I might put like a couple in my bathroom then if anyone wants to have a really cool scented bath then they can personally they're just for aesthetic reasons okay now we have like a lot of stuff that smells good obviously you won't be able to smell this and i'm sorry but yeah so i've just brought some room sachets and these are one pound fifty each i had one before i literally got it from my first primark haul and that was citrus and ginger and that smelled so good like the smell of them isn't like really overpowering where it's gonna like smell out the whole room or anything but i think it's nice to have them there i like to know that my house doesn't smell and that it smells good so literally i've got those air freshener things that go off all the time i spray for breeze every day and then i get these room sachets and room diffusers because i'm just like my house has to smell nice i just like walking into a room and it having a smell of like oh my god that smells really nice like i want my house to be like that so yeah this one is called pink peony and it says it's peony rose and apple so peony must be like a flower this one does smell real fresh i really like this one and then this one is soft cashmere so this one it says is cashmere and vanilla flower this does also smell really nice it doesn't smell too strong of vanilla like i feel like it could have more of a vanilla smell it does just smell like fresh sheets which obviously is a nice smell but like i love vanilla like the air freshener i've got at the minute that's going off that is vanilla and that is just like my ultimate fave so i've got three of the soft cashmere ones and then one of the pink peony ones i feel like i'm gonna put the pink one in my living room because we've got a bit of a pink theme going on and then i'll use the other three for the other rooms in my house the scented room sachets are also one pound fifty so yeah they are really good i do really like them and it just yeah it just helps me know that my house doesn't smell bad okay so next we have a citrus and ginger re-diffuser this is the packaging 
which I think is so aesthetically pleasing. Like we love the leaves and these are three pounds. And then obviously you just get the liquid that goes with it and then the reeds. How cute is it as well that they carried on the print on the front of this? It's all about the aesthetic. So yeah, I do really like the citrus and ginger scented stuff before. My old room sachet was citrus and ginger. So I thought I'd give the diffusers a go. But yeah, I really like reed diffusers. Like I think they just make your house smell so good. I need to find like reed diffusers that last longer. Like I'm only expecting this to last like a month but it was only like three pound or whatever so i can let them off so i got two of these and i'll just have one in my living room and one in my bedroom because those are the main areas that need to smell nice because that's where i live okay so i don't know if this is a bit random and boring but i actually got a soap dispenser <laughs> so obviously as you can see it's pink why would it be any other color and it's just got the like marbly pattern on it i just thought this would be really cool in one of my bathrooms so i should have got two of these really because i have two bathrooms so that was silly but never mind but yeah i just thought this would be really cute because obviously your average hand wash bottle from like tesco or whatever isn't as aesthetically pleasing as this obviously is so yeah i just thought this was really cute and i really like the gold lid and then it's pink so i just thought this was really fitting for the theme of my apartment and the soap dispenser was four pound okay so next i got these plant pots i don't know if they are actually plant pots but that's what they look like so that's what we're going to call them and these were a pound each so i got two in pink and then two in gold as well so these are for my makeup brushes like you've probably heard me say before about how my makeup table is a massive mess and the main problem is the brushes so i just thought if i get four pots that i can put the brushes in hopefully that should help clear some of the mess and i can do my makeup in peace and have everything organized in front of me instead of stressing and crying because i can't find an eyebrow brush for 10 minutes yeah really cool and they're only a pound and they had loads of different colors so i just thought that is the type of thing i need i'm having like a massive clear out of like clothes makeup up and just like old stuff i'm excited to just clean my whole apartment declutter just start again okay this is also really random and it was just for aesthetic reasons i don't know what the point of it is or what it even is but yeah it's just this little pink pot <laughs> it was only £2.50 and i just thought because it was pink it was going to go with all the other pink stuff so yeah it's just like an extra accessory for my room <laughs> so also for my makeup i brought these storage boxes and i just thought this would really help me organize the chaos <laughs> <laughs> so these were seven pounds you get one big one and then you get the two little ones but i've got a set of alex drawers from ikea and i just thought hopefully i can put these in the drawers and this will help give me the sections to put my makeup in to make it more organized because honestly at the minute it's just a mess so yeah i thought this would really help they had different colors and different sizes and things like that as well in there which looks really good but i just thought that this one was the most suitable for me hopefully they do actually fit in the drawers like i can see the drawers down there now and I'm just like oh like will they even fit but if not they just look really cute and they can sit on my makeup desk that's no biggie but yeah it'd be cute if they fit in the drawers and then it can just be all organized and nice okay so i have actually got another candle <laughs> so this is cashmere and vanilla so it's the same scent as the sachets that i got again this was just for aesthetic reasons i don't plan on burning it but this one smells real good like I feel like if they made this as a moisturizer, I'd be all over it. Like this one smells real good. Out of everything so far, this has been the best smelling, hands down. I just thought this would look really cute sat somewhere and it's green. So it kind of goes along with like the nature theme that I kind of try and have going on. I feel like they did have a pink one as well, but honestly, I went to Primark so long ago now. I kind of remember they probably changed all their stock anyway, but I feel like they did have this in the pink peony scent, but I can't really remember. But the vanilla in this smells really good compared to the vanilla in the sachets where it's like I wasn't really getting it for this it's just like Okay, these next two things are really geeky, but I got three Game of Thrones mugs. <laughs> Let me actually open them up so you can see. Okay, so they call this one the ale mug, but all I'll be putting in here is tea. It just says on it, winter is here. This was actually in the sale and it was only three pound. So I don't know if they'll still have them in stock. Obviously Game of Thrones is fully over now, but yeah, so that's probably why it's all gone on sale. But I was really debating getting some of the Game of Thrones bed in. And then I was just like, that is too far. Like, how can I get Game of Thrones bed? In, like that would be so sad like i'm not like a 12 year old boy so i was just like no like i can't do it but yeah they had like this dragon egg like tea light thing as well and i was like that's so cool but like that is where i'd have to draw the line like i've now got like four game of thrones mugs like how sad is that like i'm a real geek but it was iconic so yeah okay this is actually really cringy and i think it's more cringy because
because I'm single. <laughs> but I got these two mugs. This one says moon of my life. And then this one says my sun and stars. I feel like this is cringy for me because this is obviously supposed to be some sort of like couples mug. But you gals been single forever, so whatever. But I just still thought these were real cute. So these were also on sale and they were only three pounds. And I just thought, how can I not get them? Like, please, Game of Thrones is still life. And then they say Game of Thrones on the back. But yeah, I just thought these would be really cute. And it's like a good Game of Thrones memory. Like I can drink tea and be like, oh, Game of Thrones. Okay, so this is a little bit boring now, but I got two memory foam bath mats. I got them both in white and they are real soft. So I can't wait to get out of the shower. At the minute, I'm just literally stepping on a towel. So I thought, you know what? treat yourself to a nice luxury memory foam bath mat so yeah they did have loads of other colors and i was really debating getting a khaki one because i do really like green but then there was just something about it where i just thought like i have to get white like i had to get white I think it's the same with towels where it's just like how can you get any other color than white like any other color i just find strange for me i don't know personally apart from gray gray towels are fine like i would have got gray bath mats to be fair but when i saw white i just thought that's the color but yeah they're all kind of crazy colors like purple so yeah i just got two bath mats for my bathrooms and they were six pound each so next i got these lovely blue cushions they've got like bits of gold on as well obviously as you can see but yeah i just thought these looked really luxurious and really lovely and it was £10 for the two cushions I just thought these would be really nice so yeah I'm gonna put these in my spare bedroom with all the other bits that I'm gonna show you in a bit but yeah I just thought these looked really nice and they look really luxurious I really like the pattern of the gold and things like that and they feel really soft so yeah these are just really nice I think because the blue is so dark that's what makes it look really high-end like when I actually own my own house and don't rent in my bedroom I'd love to have like a really dark navy blue wall because I just think that is so like high-end so yeah and then to also go in that bedroom i also got a navy blue throw which i just thought would be really cute i feel like the good thing about primark home is it's really easy to kind of theme your bedrooms like if you pick up a cushion you know that there's going to be a throw that will match it there'll be bedding that will match it so it's really easy to like put rooms together because they've just got it all going on i did go to the world's biggest primark i don't even think the homeware section is as good as the primarks i've been to but yeah it's definitely really easy to kind of put things together but anyway, so this throw was £4. Obviously, I just got it to match the cushions that I had from before. So, yeah, this is real soft as well. Like, this is nice. It's very cozy. I want people to come to my house and be like, oh, the house is so cozy. So, yeah, I got that. So, I also got this massive mustard cushion for my living room. I've just brought this to go on my sofa just so I can chill out with it and, like, give it a cuddle because I'm a cuddler. I can't remember how much this was. I feel like it was the only one on the shelf and it didn't even have a label on. But it's probably about a fiver. Like, come on. Like, it can't a bit much more but yeah this is huge i've actually just realized i'm supposed to pick up two of these but in a smaller version to go in my spare bedroom so i'm gonna have to go and get those before i do my apartment tour but yeah i love mustard mustard's one of those colors where it's like real cool and if you do it right it will look sick so yeah i just brought this for my living room just to chill out on and then i also got for the spare bedroom a mustard throw and then for the spare bedroom i also got this mustard throw so this was supposed to go with the other mustard cushions and then the the blue cushions this one is really super soft as well and this was only four pound it's literally the same as the blue throw but just in mustard and they are the same size as well like this one says it's a small throw and the other one just says throw but they are actually the same size so yeah so yeah i just thought this would be really cute and the colors will go well together like mustard and royal blue are just like a match made in heaven they're like and then for that bedroom i just thought i'd keep the bedding like really neutral and simple so i just bought this gray double bedding set i got a dark fitted sheet because personally i know it's really weird but with bed sheets i don't really like white sheets i quite like having like gray or pink so yeah i got a really dark sheet this was five pound fifty for a double sheet which i think is not bad so hopefully it doesn't shrink in the wash or anything and it won't be a struggle to put on like i've brought some double sheets from tesco and as soon as i put them in the wash honestly i can barely get them back on the bed and like loads of times i'll be in bed and i'll like roll over and then the sheet will just like come up as well so hopefully primark don't let me down 
because really I haven't got time for the sheet to not be fit in the mattress like it's actually such a pain so yeah and then I just got this double duvet set and it's got like a lighter grey and a darker grey and it is reversible so yeah I just wanted to keep the bedding in that room really neutral and plain so I thought if I just go with like greys then that is like a safe bet especially because I've gone with such bright colours to dress the room so yeah I wanted the grey to like tone it down okay everything now is for my bedroom and I will warn you it is real pink I feel like because my landlord is obviously gonna never let me paint the walls pink I've just got to get all the pink that I can so first things first we have a pink double fitted sheet that's just to go on my bed but yeah I really like the pink of this it's not like too crazy pink but it's like a nice pink hopefully you can see it a bit better and then this is the bedding set so it's not like too too pink where it would be crazy but it is still like a blush pink color I would say that the fitted sheet is more pink than the actual bedding but this again is reversible so I don't know if you can see that it's like two-toned but those are the different colors so this side is like a really really pale pink like almost white and then this side is more of a blush kind of color I know the lighting is like not showing that at all oh there we go you can see it like a little bit better now but yeah and this was 11 pound for a double duvet set and the sheet was five pound fifty so yeah but yeah I just thought that this was still pink but not like crazy so that when you walk in my room it would be like so yeah but I also got two pink cushions that are kind of like gold foiled as well so I just thought these would be really cute these were also 10 pound for both but yeah I just thought these would be really nice in room and yeah I love cushions but yeah they are really soft and they feel really nice I'm not gonna lie now I'm looking at them I do prefer the blue ones to the pink ones but I need my room to be pink like just like a princess so yeah so I got those so I also got these two cushions so these will like sit behind the pink and gold cushions I just had to get these as well I just feel like Primark cushions are amazing and I'm like I should have got more like I need more for like my living room and I need to get the other two for the bedroom so yeah but, yeah I'm just like in love like I know that sleeping with four cushions and two pillows is excessive but I can't help it and these were five pound each but yeah they're in a really like nice pink color where it's not too crazy it's just cute so yeah then I also got an extra large throw for the room so I'll just put this at like the bottom of my bed and then if I'm feeling cold or whatever I can just take this and just chill with it but yeah I just thought this was really soft and really cute like I haven't opened this yet but I can tell this is gonna be huge but yeah I just thought this would look really good with the cushions and the new bedding so I'm so excited to put this on my bed like it's gonna be so cozy and soft and pink and cute I feel like what I might do is get a smaller version of this and actually replace this blanket here even though I do like it I feel like I want it to be pink so I'm gonna have to replace it fortunately like in winter this is gonna be my best friend I can just tell we're gonna get along okay so I actually really enjoyed filming that homeware haul like I feel like I've got so many like cute little bits and I'm so excited to like decorate my whole apartment now like it's been a long time coming I tell you like yeah it's gonna be nice to finally like have a really pretty apartment but like I said before I will have an apartment tour soon so you can actually the, the inside of my house <laughs> so definitely make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that and if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up so you don't miss anything and follow me on instagram at leah underscore miller if you want to see me do like more home stuff then definitely let me know but thank you so much for watching really appreciate it as always and i'll see you next time bye